Thank you for watching this Deer Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at users and roles in Deer. Deer offers fine grained control over user permissions. Invited users into the system can be granted full or read only permissions to the different features and modules. You're also able to create roles with predefined permissions to assign to groups of users. When you set up your Deer account, by default, you are assigned full permissions to see the system. As the account owner, you can invite other users to the system via Settings, Users and Roles. From here, you can create roles with the permissions already set up, and you can assign users to their roles once they've signed up and created their accounts within Deer. The account owner sets permissions and restrictions for all other users. The account owner can also lock another user or restrict any type of access to Deer. This can be useful if employees are on leave for a long time and you want to limit their access to the system. Before anyone in your organization can access Deer, you need to invite them to become a user in Deer. Aside from the account owner, other users with full access to the Users and Roles page can perform this operation. To invite a user, select Invite a User. On the Invite New User window, enter the user's email address and then Send. After sending the invitation, you can choose to assign permissions and or roles to the user or wait for the user to accept the invitation before assigning permissions. By default, new users have all permissions set to full access. Aside from users, you can also invite advisors to your Deer account. Advisors are registered Deer partners, financial advisors and system implementers who use Deer to provide better service to their clients. To do this, select Invite an Advisor. Then, enter their email address and select Send. Inviting an advisor to your organization gives the advisor access to the account. The advisor will have the same permissions as the master user and the full ability to manage Deer for your organization, all whilst not adding to your subscribed total user count. Note, only registered Deer partners can be added as advisors. After a user accepts your invitation, the user is added to the list of users in the Users and Roles page. Select the user's name to view their special and effective permissions. If a role or roles has been assigned to the user, the user will inherit the permissions from that role. If a role has not been assigned, the user by default has full access to all features. Set special permissions to change user permissions and override role permissions. To set special permissions for a user, select the access to be given to the user. For instance, full access, read-only access, no access or not applicable for each of the Deer modules. And then click Save. Roles make setting permissions for your users more convenient. With roles, you can set up permissions just once, then assign your users to the role. For example, you might set up roles for your various departments, so you can just add designated users from within that department to the role. You can also assign more than one role to a user. To create a role, navigate to the Users and Roles page and select the Roles tab. Then select Add New Role. Here you can enter the role name and select Add to add it to the list. After creating a role, you can grant permissions to it. These permissions will be inherited by any user assigned. You can quickly set bold permissions for a role by using the full access or read-only access at the top of the screen. To grant granular access to specific modules within Deer, you may also check the boxes under the full access and read-only access columns for each permission and then select Save. Once permissions have been assigned to a role, you can assign a user to that role. If a user is assigned to more than one role, they'll inherit permissions from the role with the highest level of permissions. Select Add Role on the User's Detail page and then the role to be assigned to that user. At any time, you can reset a user's permissions to default. If the user is not assigned to a role, the affected permissions will be full access. If the user is assigned to one or more roles, this will return the user to the permissions granted by those roles. Select Effective Permissions to return the user to Effective Permissions. You're also able to lock and prevent a user from accessing Deer. Only the account owner can lock other users from using the system. To lock a user, click the Lock User button to the right of the account name. Also note that account owners are not able to lock themselves from the system. Locked users can be unlocked by the account owner by clicking Unlock User. The account owner status can also be transferred to another user. Only the account owner can do this. The account owner 
will see the option to set a user as the account owner when selecting a user from the list. You can also delete users by selecting the red delete icon to the right of their name on the user screen. Deleting a user does not affect user history data. And that concludes this video on managing users and roles.